One of the things I think that haunts men walking around today is this feeling of looking like a creep, feeling like a creep in relation to women. And one of the things that women have done to men is pronounce that anything that's outside the normal is creepy. So this is why when you want to go approach a woman, you feel like a creep or you feel creepy. It's because women are constantly saying that when something is outside the normal that a guy does, it is creepy. So before you even walk up, you're already walking up with the condition that this is outside the normal. And the fact that this is outside the normal, what does that mean? That it's creepy. You know, I see people on the internet do it. I see guys out there talking to women. But in some way, it's creepy. In some way, I feel like I'm creepy. I feel like if I walk up to a woman and she doesn't respond well, immediately I'm a creepy because she's now showed me with her reaction that I am a creepy man. And men will continue to walk around like this. They'll continue to, when interacting with women, feel this underlying tension. Especially if they don't have a lot of experience, the underlying tension will become stronger and stronger the more they want to do something that's outside the ordinary. So going up and talking to a woman that you don't know on the street is incredibly outside the ordinary. For you, you probably feel like, fuck man, doing this, I feel like I'm pronounced as one of those creepy guys that women are constantly saying they don't want to be involved with. Or they, they, you're pronounced as one of those creepy guys who's going up and he's hitting on women and he's lurking and he's trying to show her that he's interested. All of these, so to speak, misconceptions are what's lurking around for you. And for me, I had so many misconceptions. Me growing up in the black community, we always used to talk to women on the street that we don't know. Always. I used to always see people do that. And for me, in many ways, I was like, okay, this is a norm. But it wasn't until I got into the normal world, so to speak, because this is when I was younger and I used to see people do that. When I got into, when I got about 18 and I started to go out there and see women on the streets who were much older, my age, this thing started to come around of creep. And looking like a creep, to me, was always something I felt that I didn't want to look like. Because now that it's a thing out there like that, I definitely want, don't want to be that. And me being someone who saw it all through my childhood in the black community, people doing this on the street, I still didn't want as I got older to look like a creep because creepy became a thing. If you think about it, it wasn't really a thing until about high school probably for us. Like I'm 25, in high school that's when creep became a thing. But before that, I never used to hear girls say creepy. I used to always hear them say sleazy or he's disrespectful or he's rude. I used to hear things like that. But somewhere along the lines, it started to turn into creep. Well, you start to feel that, fuck, I don't want to be this creepy, fucking, lurky, disgusting man that women are repulsed by. And many of the times when they would show anything like creep, it would be in relation to a fucking rapist or in relation to someone who's creeping women out like some fucking dude that is very, very disconnected from what it means to socialize with people and he's just going out there and being weird and lurking at girls and, and looking at them from the corner of his eye. All these things around creepy started to, so to speak, come to light. And everything that is associated with these looks and these ways of being, and even many times sexual interest in the beginning is regarded as creepy. And for me, I was like, I don't want to be in that category either. So in many ways, I felt like expressing my sexuality in a very overt way or expressing my sexuality in a way where it was directed toward a woman, I had filters on it. 
Because the filters was, I, if I express it too much, then I'm creepy. If I express it too much, then I'm sleazy. If I express it not enough, then I'm also creepy. Do you see how you can never win with this? If you don't express it enough, you're creepy. If you express it too much, you're creepy. So what the confusion is, is when do I express it? For me, I was like, fuck, girls seem like they don't want men to express sexuality. That's what they're trying to make it seem like. When do I fucking do it then? When do I express it then? I'm confused. Me having experience through my life, I knew that I can express it. But the confusion started to become, what do women want around this? What do women really want around men, especially on sexuality? I'm so confused because women are saying creepy uh, and in regards to sexual intent. So if they're saying creepy in regards to sexual intent, I don't want to express my sexual intent because I don't want to come across creepy. And, and in many ways, I would say that uh, the community or our society have set up so that women are always being able to just show you the green light. I mean, like when they're ready to. And when they show you the green light, then you express your sexuality. That's actually the mode. Is when the woman's ex when a woman's sexuality is in green light, then I can express mine in green light. But besides that, then it's not. I, I shouldn't do it. This what became the thing. And as that became the thing of like, you don't express your sexuality until a woman wants it. You start to feel like, okay, I want to only express it when the woman wants it. When do I not know that she wants it though? How do I know? I'm confused. Do I have to fucking guess? Like, well, how do I do this? And all this confusion for me came back to what is it that I really want to express? It all came back around to me. And I was like, I'm so confused. And everybody's telling me that this is creepy and this is fucking weird. Expression of sexuality when a girl doesn't want it means that you're a creepy man. I didn't know where to go. I absolutely didn't know where to go. But what started to show its way to me is there's no right answer to this. There's no right answer in society for you to be able to express your sexuality or not look like a creep. There is no right answer because if you go to society and try to find the right answer, which means that if you try to find the right answer outside of yourself, you will never find it. I never found the answer to this outside of myself. I never did. Yeah, everybody would tell me that, man, it's okay to express your sexuality. It's okay to do this. You know, when I would get into the community and I met James and them, you know, I was still doing it at that time. <laughs> but what was behind it was, I'm confused about when to really show it. Because do I show it now? Do I show it at the beginning of the date? Do I show it when I first meet the girl? When do I show it without looking like a creep? How can I go approach a girl and not look like I am creepy? Because remember, sexual intent shown without the woman's permission has been now uh, categorized as creepy in society's eye. So it's like a guy walking up to a woman that he doesn't know to many people is creepy. To many women are creepy. So I was like, I cannot win looking at society. I cannot win. And you will not win looking at society. If you do that, you will always get pulled in many different directions. Always. What's great about what I'm telling you right now is that what you're going to be able to do is that you're going to be able to now align with people who can show you that your sexual intent and expressing it is very, very valuable. And being able to express it at the time that you feel it will be the right thing to do. So when I started to go, okay, I need to just express it when I feel it. This is the only way for me to really know. This is the only way for me to get really good feedback is when I feel it, allow it to be expressed. When I'm going to approach a woman. So sometimes I will go approach a woman and I would be there and I'm like, okay, it's weird if I show her right now that I actually want her. It's weird. It's weird if I walk up to a woman and I show her that I am interested in her. So this is not all about just about sexual intent. It's about just showing. That's what it's about. The opposite of creepy, if you want to know, is showing. That's the opposite of creepy. Creepy is 
knowing that you want to show, this is what it actually is, knowing that you want to show, but not doing it. Not creepy is showing. Knowing that you want to show and showing, that's not creepy. But just because you want to show does not mean that some people will regard it as creepy. When I first started doing this, I overdid it many times. I would look at women really, really deep in the eyes with sexual intent. Too much to the point where she would feel like, okay, this is too much, buddy, it's like sleazy. Then it was times where I would feel like, fuck, I want to do it right now, but maybe it's not the right moment. And then I would underdo it and the woman would kind of give me eyes, but I would underdo it in a way because I'm like, this is not the right moment. So through that shucking and jiving in myself of, oh, do it this way and do it this way, it made me understand that the only way that I can really show anything, interest of anything, showing her that I like her, showing that I'm sexually interested in her, showing her that she's beautiful, whatever it is, any of this showing must happen at the time that I feel it's there. This is the true green light. The true green light is when you feel it. This is now the new way to operate. If you continue to operate in the way that you've been doing, what will happen is you will always be disconnected from the moment, from being able to show. You will always be in this place of, I don't want to look creepy because in some way what I'm doing right now is creepy. But like I just told you, the opposite of creepy is showing. If you allow yourself to show, if you become obvious with your feelings, if you become obvious with your emotions, if you become obvious with the fact that you have interest in any kind of way, in any moment, you completely clear up the channel that's blocked. Because in the moment, the channel that's blocked, when you go approach a girl, is, I don't want to show her that I'm interested because it's creepy. Or, I don't want to show her that I really want to deeply get to know her because maybe it's creepy or maybe it's, it's weird to try to do that right now. You know what? I don't want to show her right now that I'm sexually interested because maybe she'll believe that I'm a fucking uh, weird, creepy dude. But my question is, how do you feel about sexuality? Do you feel creepy about it? Do you feel like there's certain aspects of it that's creepy to you? Do you feel like expressing sexuality is creepy? So it comes down to showing, but in your showing, you have to understand that there must be some upside to it for you to want to do it. There must be some upside. Because looking at it as creepy and showing this is creepy and doing this is creepy, that's all looking at it from, okay, I don't want to be seen. It's all avoidance. I don't want to be seen in this way. It's avoidance of something. I'm trying to avoid the woman seeing me as a liability. I'm trying to avoid the woman seeing me as a creepy man because that's not, I know that's not what women want. So I don't want to be seen as the thing that women don't, don't want. I want to be seen as the thing that women do want. This is actually the real thing that now you're starting to move toward. Because the fact that you're watching this video, you are already saying to yourself, I want to be seen as a man that's a sexual prospect. I want to be seen as a sexual man. I want to be seen as a man when he walks up to a woman that he means business while he's there that he's real, that he's authentic, that he's able to really show. That's how I want to be seen. My question is, do you want to be seen like that from yourself or by the woman? And it needs to be for yourself. You cannot control how women will see you. You will never control how women will see you. Women will see you in the light that they see you. And it maybe it's based on their fears, maybe it's based on their beliefs, maybe it's based on the fact that what you did is outside the ordinary. Whatever it is, you need to let them respond and react in the way that they need to. Just let them react. Let them react to you in the way that they need to. Don't want to be seen like this special man by women. Don't want to be seen as this guy who's not the bad guy. Don't want to be seen as the guy who's the good guy. Because you still want the woman to see you as something. The way to pull this back, for you to be able to not be, feel like a creep when you're walking up to women, is to understand that it's okay for you to be able to express your interest in any way. And the okayness is,
what are the reasons for me wanting to walk up to this woman and show her? Why do I want to show women this? This is gonna give you the reasons. Why do I want to show women that I like them? Why do I want to show women my sexual interest? Not because I wanna show them my sexual interest so I can be able to not look like something or to look like something. I wanna show them my sexual interest because I'm actually interested in a woman. I don't really care about looking like a creep. Or maybe I do care about looking like a creep, but it's because I'm just confused about when is the right time to show interest of anything. I'm confused about that. What are the reasons? So now you start to dissect, you start to look at, okay, what are the reasons behind all this about looking creepy, feeling like a creep, looking like a creep? What is the reason behind all this? It's that I don't just want to be undesirable to women. So feeling like you are undesirable to women is the reason behind all this. It's just a, a complete lack of feeling desirable to women. And this is the reason why you feel so disconnected when you are trying to go up to a woman. When you feel like, fuck, I don't wanna be looking like a creepy because you're in some way feeling like you're undesirable and the fact that you're undesirable, you're taking on things that make you more undesirable. And that's why I said, what are the reasons for you wanting to show interest? Is it because you want to have real authentic communication that I really want to have a sexual connection, that I really want to do these things? That's the reasons why. I'm not doing this so I can avoid looking like a creep. I'm doing this because I wanna be able to be authentic and real about who I am. I wanna be able to be in front of women and show them that I do like you and I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I find you to be sexy. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I want to get to know you. I'm not ashamed of the fact that you told me something and fuck, I feel turned on by you. And the green light in those moments is for you to show that you do feel these things. Show the woman that you do feel sexual attraction. Show the woman that you do feel like she's beautiful. Show the woman that you do feel like you want to get to know her. And this is what happened for me. My whole journey started to take a shift when I started to understand that I don't want to be in this to avoid being a creep. I want to be in this so I can have real, authentic communication, connection with women on all levels. That's the emotional level. I want to be able to express myself emotionally without having feeling like I look like a creep in some way for doing that. I want to be able to express sexual interest, would I have to look like I'm a creep in some way for wanting to be sexual with a woman? I have to f come to, I, <clears throat> I really love appreciating women, I do. I enjoy it so much. I enjoy being able to look at a woman and tell her how beautiful she is. I enjoy being able to look at the curves of her body and being able to just let her know that, fuck, you look so in shape. I like that about a woman. Being able to be real, this is what I've come into this for. I didn't come into this for the other side, just to be afraid of not doing that and looking like a creep for doing that. I came in this for showing. That's the strength. The strength is you came in this for showing. You didn't come in this so you can hide, you came in this so you can start showing. But the only way for you to start to be able to get resistance against that showing, because you will get resistance, do not try to go out there and believe that once you start showing this that you won't get resistance, you will get resistance. But from the place of showing, I mean being obvious about what it is that you desire in that moment, this is where you build true strength for the journey. In the constant hiding and not wanting to look like a creep when you walk up to a woman, this is where you continuously reinforce weakness in yourself. You reinforce shakiness. You reinforce the fact that you are not a man who wants to be authentic. You reinforce the other side. So now you need to start reinforcing by showing. Because the more that you show, the more you reinforce that you're the guy who shows. And the more that I start showing to women that I want them and I am totally unafraid of, of, of the fact that you look beautiful, the more, the, more, the more that I started to do that, and then when I, that just came a way of being, that's when I noticed that women responded to me very, very, very fucking good. I wasn't getting mixed responses. There's sometimes now when I'm somewhere and a girl just like blows me off or does like this, but because I've developed the strength of my reinforcing 
way, I'm not perceiving that on the down end. I'm perceiving it on the end of, okay, that's just what it is. I don't need to now go into what does that mean about me? It's just the woman didn't like that. And that gets into another journey that I can take you guys another way about not taking things personal, but it's simply that. Showing is the new way. Until you come into alignment with showing, you'll always be where you are now. So what I would like for you guys to do is that I would like for you to now start showing. And I want you to step it out. I don't want you to just go out there and be like, okay, now I gotta show everything. I gotta, show, I gotta just go to tell a girl that I wanna fuck her. No, it's not that. It's being able to step it out. Simply, today, I'm gonna go out, and this is an exercise for you to do. This is an obvious exercise that's gonna fucking help you dramatically. <laughs> go out, and today, and when you see a girl, I want you to obviously check her out. Just show her that you like her. You don't even have to go up to her and talk to her. Just show her that you like her and check her out from head to toe. And feel what is her reaction to that. Let her see you do it. Because remember I told you, you have to get resistance toward the showing for the showing to become stronger. Which means for this new way of being to become stronger, you have to get resistance from the world. Which means you have to get some girls who respond very badly to that. You have to. And you need to stay in that while she's responding bad. And you need to get positive reinforcement as well where you see women, they look at you and you smile at them, you look them up and down and they smile at you back. So this whole process of being able to uh, stand in the midst of the tension and at the same time get positive reinforcements, fuck, you're going to really step, step it out in a way better than I did and fast track better than I did in showing. So start simply from when you see women on the street that you like or any location, just simply and clearly check them out with your entire self, which means look at them. If they're sitting there, look at them and just look at them up and down. Maybe they notice you doing this. But you need to feel what it feels like to have that creepy sort of thing. Or I don't want to look like a creep up against you. You need the tension of that because as you feel the tension of that and you move past that moment and you survive, so to speak, then you reinforce what it feels like to sit in that tension. And then you get the strength, you get more strength, and you get more strength, just like I did. So now a woman can walk past and I can check her out in any way I want. And if she goes like this, I'm like, that's totally fine. She didn't like that, that's okay. But I'm not afraid or ashamed about my authentic, my authentic and real desire that's there, that feels that she's beautiful, that feels like she's desirable in some way. And from that, what you'll notice is as you can just start doing that, you'll notice that, fuck, this is not so scary that I thought. And from that showing, you get the fucking courage that when you walk up to a woman, you say you're beautiful. You're like, maybe the girl gives you a negative response and she walks away, but you're like, I'll sit with the tension of that and that's just her. Because I really felt something. I really showed it. Cool, I really showed it. And that feels good. Because what's ultimately good is how you feel about what you're doing, not how the woman responds. That's the truth behind what really feels good for you. And the more you do this, the more you notice that it's not the women that make you feel good, it's how you make yourself feel good. And what feel good is showing versus trying to avoid being the creep. That feels good. And something that I want to leave you with is who you are is valuable for that which you desire, whether it be in life or women. It's just realizing it that needs to happen. What I want you guys to do is go to the description box. And I, or wait to just after this part right here because the end screen is going to pop up. And I want you to go get my free approach to bedroom series. I break it down from approach to bedroom. Like when you meet the girl on the street, the mindsets and everything, all the way to what happens in the bedroom when she feels like it's too fast. I break it all the way down through the texting and everything because I really care about you guys being able to get the women you want in your life and have the life that you desire. And until then, this is Tony Solo saying that there's love here for you guys. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
you know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.